Words that uh, that are referred to an action or state of being are called a, are called as verbs. What is verb? Words that are referred to referred to an action or state of being uh, are called as verb. There are different types of verbs. Majorly, main verbs, action verbs, non-finite verbs. First, let us understand what is verb. Verb is an action or state of being. For example, here, uh, C is a doctor. Okay. So uh, we all know, without verb, you cannot make any sentences. If you want to make any sentence, you must have verb. Okay. So you must have action verb, action verb, or state of being. Without this, you cannot make any sentence in English. Okay. So first, understand. What is a state of being? What is an action verb? Okay. C is a doctor. C is a doctor. Here is yes, is verb. What kind of verb? You can say state of being. Okay. Next, he kicked the ball. He kicked the ball. He is subject. Kick verb. Okay. Action. Action verb. Okay. Somebody doing something physically. Okay. That uh, word. The word refers to an action. Verb refers to state of being uh, are called as verbs. Okay, so verbs, uh, there are different types of verbs. See here, main verbs, auxiliary verbs, non finite verbs. These are the main uh, types of verbs. Apart from these three, we, are, uh, we will be studying about linking verbs, finite verbs, regular and irregular verbs, finally, casualty verbs. Okay, so if you Know these things, we will be you will be good in English. Okay, so verbs are main part in grammar. So we have to understand all these types very carefully. If you have good knowledge about these uh, different types of verbs, uh, it will be uh, you, you can enhance your capability of making sentence in English well. Okay, first uh, start with the main verbs. Uh, main verbs can be divided into two categories. First one is transitive. Next one is intransitive verb. Okay, I will explain you what is transitive and intransitive uh, furtherly. Now, just understand main verbs can be classified into two categories. One is a transitive, another one is intransitive. Okay, so next term, transitive verb, more transitive verb, and ditransitive verb. Okay, so main verbs. Uh, can be classified into two. First one is a transitive verb, intransitive verb. Further, the transitive verb can be uh, monotransitive and ditransitive. Next, auxiliary verbs, which is even more important. See, auxiliary verbs, not non-modal auxiliary verbs, modal auxiliary verbs. Okay, non-modal auxiliary verbs, auxiliary verbs. Okay, auxiliary verbs also. Uh, divided into two categories. The first one is non-modal auxiliary verbs. Second one is modal auxiliary verbs. Next, uh, non-finite verbs. Okay, uh, you have to understand what is finite verb, what is non-finite verb, which uh, will give you more uh, knowledge in English. Because without knowing these uh, verbs, what are the types of verbs, you cannot learn. Um, uh, anything in English. Okay, if you want to learn, for example, if you want to learn what is phrase, what is uh, class, what is simple sentence, what is complex sentence, uh, what is compound sentence. So when you learn those things, this knowledge of understanding the different types of verb, which is, which is very important. Okay, so main verbs can be classified into two: transitive, intransitive, transitive, monotransitive, ditransitive, auxiliary verbs. Non modal auxiliary verbs, modal auxiliary verbs. First, understand here what is modal auxiliary verbs. Um, can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might, may, might, ought to, need, not, so these are all the modal auxiliary verbs. Non modal, am, is, are, was, were, have, has. Okay, these are all non modal auxiliary verbs. Next, linking verb, finite verbs, regular and irregular verbs, finally, casualty verbs. Let us read one by one. Let us start with the main verbs. Okay, these are the main categories of uh, verbs are main verbs, actually verbs, non finite verbs. Apart from these three, these verbs also, it, it could be better to learn these types also. Okay, so let us start with the 
main verbs. Uh, main verbs are action verbs. Okay, action verbs are referred as main verbs. Main verbs also called as principal verbs. Okay, main verbs also called as principal verbs, action verbs. Uh, some of the some of the important um, action verbs are talk, eat, give, take, run, let us. These are all some some of the uh, main verbs. Okay. As I told you before, main verbs can be classified into two categories. One is the transitive verb, another one is intransitive verb. Now we have to understand what is the transitive verb, what is intransitive verb. Transitive verb. Require object. Transitive verbs require object to complete the meaning of the sentence. Okay. So we know without the verb we cannot make any sentence. Okay. That is what verb. If you, if you ask what is verb, without verb we cannot make any sentence. Action word or state of being. Uh, action words are called as main words. Okay. Main words are also called as principal words. Okay. Yeah, main words can be classified into two categories, two important categories. One is transitive verb, another one is intransitive verb. You have to understand what is a transitive verb. Transitive verb takes object. Without object, it doesn't give the complete meaning. Okay? That is what transitive verb requires object to complete the sentence. Okay? Transitive verb requires object to complete the sentence. For example, I lost my purse. I lost my purse. Here, I subject a last verb. What I, what I lost? My purse, purse. So, this verb last takes the object. Okay? This verb last takes the object. So, this is transitive verb. Okay? Okay, with the, the transitive verb will require object. This is transitive verb. Uh, that's why it has taken first object. Okay? Uh, like some more example. Ram ate the chocolate. Ram ate what? Chocolate. Chocolate is the object. Ate. Eat ate. Transitive verb. So transitive verb takes object. You have to understand that. Transitive verb takes object. Uh, without um, uh, without verb you cannot make any sentence. Okay? So here transitive verb. This transitive verb takes object. Object is in the first sentence, first example. My purse is the object. So the verb last takes the object. Here, ate verb what? Chocolate. Chocolate is, uh, is object. So this verb also takes the object. Okay. So trans what is transitive verb? Require object to complete the sentence. If you want to complete the sentence. Uh, by using transitive verb, you need object. Okay, I lost my purse. Ram ate the chocolate. Okay, so uh, I told you before, a uh, transitive verb can be classified into two. One is monotransitive verb, another one is ditransitive verb. The name, the title itself will tell you what exactly the uh, ditransitive verb, monotransitive verb. Okay, I told you before uh, when I gave the uh, introduction about this verbs. I explained you what is uh, mm, verbs and what is transitive verb. Here, yeah, transitive verb can be classified into two. I told you before. Okay, uh, transitive verb can be classified into two. One is monotransitive verb, another one is ditransitive verb. Monotransitive verb, yes, takes the object. Ditransitive verb, yes, takes the object. But monotransitive verb has only one object. Uh, Ditransitive verb takes two objects. For example, Ram lifted the heavy bag. Ram lifted what? Bag. Okay. So, this is object. Ram subjected lifted verb. This is object. This verb lifted. Okay. This verb lifted takes the object bag. Okay. Without this object, this sentence, this sentence will not give you the complete meaning. It doesn't make any sense. Okay? Ram lifted. What? Bad. So it completes. Okay? It gives the uh, complete meaning. So this is transitive verb. You ask what type of transitive this is. 
as this sentence has only one object there this is mono transitive verb there next one di transitive he gave me a pen very simple example that i have taken for you ram uh, he gave me a pen he gave what pen okay he gave me a he subject gave verb pen object okay so this uh, verb gave also takes the object pen so this is transitive verb what type of transitive verb he gave me a pen he gave what pen to whom me so this is object one this is object two okay uh, direct object and indirect object okay so this verb here in this particular sentence uh, gave has two object two objects okay so this sentence has two objects as this sentence has two object this is called as di transitive verbs okay di transitive verb see uh, transitive verb what is transitive verb it takes the object without uh, without the object it cannot give the regular object to complete the meaning okay transitive verb takes the object without object you cannot make any sentence by having this transitive verb okay if you want to make complete sense you need object as far as transitive verb is concerned regular object to complete their meaning okay transitive verb regular object to complete the meaning so uh, this can be classified to one is di transitive next one is mono transitive mono transitive takes one object here di transitive takes two object very simple transitive verb takes object here. okay so it needs uh, it require object to complete the meaning here. if that particular uh, verb particular sentence has only one object here, that is mono transitive verb here. if it has two object that is di transitive verb okay very simple next one is in transitive verb okay so main verb can be classified into one is main uh, one is a transitive verb and one is in transitive verb okay in transitive verb just opposite of transitive verb transitive verb regular object there but in transitive verb doesn't need any object okay in transitive verb doesn't need any object there. but it gives some meaning that is what more important is in transitive verb do not take your object the words are in late the words are in late look at this first example the words are in late the words object are in verb there is no object okay the words are in late john is a good student john subject is verb a good student is subject com complement Okay, subject complement, not an object. So this two sentence has no object. Okay, so these words are in and is yes, uh, doesn't uh, don't have any object. So this is intransitive verb. The intransitive verb doesn't require any object to complete the sense to make the sense of the sentence. Um, this uh, intransitive verb can be classified into like the verbs of action verbs of being action verb with uh, state of being okay uh, verbs of state state of verbs of being okay verbs of action verbs of being for example are i complain cry laugh smile so uh, fall rise sleep snore these are all some of the uh, some of the uh, intransitive verbs verbs of being And this are was were become okay. This gives the information about the word action verb. Okay, so this is intransitive verb. Uh, this here state of being here action. This is state of being. Okay, for example, in the first in the first example look at this first example arrive. It gives information about the about an action about action. Okay, this arrive. We will produce information about the object, information about the action. So this is 
intensive and the yes john is a good student john was a good student they are good students okay so this is state of being state of being and the verbs of action this is intensive verb so uh, main verbs can be classified into two one is transitive another one is intransitive transitive verb furtherly can be classified uh, mono transitive di transitive uh, mono transitive verb has only one object here di transitive has two uh, objects here intransitive verb doesn't require any object to make sentence to make a sense okay uh, without object you can make sentence by having intransitive verb for example uh, the words are even later uh, john is a good student verb of actions and state of state of being verbs of being be from verbs and um, verbs of action okay this is how we can come to the uh, main verbs or principal verbs okay so now we are going to learn actual verbs uh, before we study uh, uh, action verbs main verbs okay main verbs can be classified into two categories one is uh, transitive uh, intransitive verbs transitive verb takes the object uh, intransitive verb does not take the object does it necessary to complete any sentence does it need any object to complete the sentence that is intransitive but transitive verb Require object to make sense to make complete meaning of the sentence. So transitive verb can be classified into two categories. One is mono transitive and a di di transitive verb. Mono transitive verb has only one object, whereas di transitive verb has two. Uh, di transitive verb has two objects. Okay. So intransitive verb doesn't require any object. Uh, state of being. and action verb now auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs uh, again can be classified into two categories one is non modal auxiliary another one is modal auxiliary verbs okay non modal auxiliary and auxiliary verbs modal auxiliary verbs so auxiliary verbs are also called as helping verbs okay auxiliary verbs are also called as helping the helping verbs what what are helping verbs you know that am is are was were these are be form verbs all these be form verbs verbs also we can use as helping verb as and uh, do did the does do form verbs have as had have form verbs so these are all actually verbs like uh, along with this shall should will would can could may might must ought to Used to these are all also these verbs also called as auxiliary verbs. So this actually actually verbs also uh, we can divide in two parts. One is non-modal, another one is modal auxiliary verbs. Non-modal are these are was were do did does have has had. These uh, do forms, be forms, have forms verbs are are also called as uh, non-modal auxiliary verbs. Okay, but Shall, will, can, may, might, must, would, should, could. These are all modal auxiliary verbs. What is the difference between modal auxiliary, non-modal auxiliary? How would you differentiate uh, with modal auxiliary and non-modal auxiliary? Let us have some example. He is uh, playing the match. He is playing the match. Here, he is the subject. He is playing verb phrase. Verb phrase. But in the verb verb phrase, play is a main verb. Is is actually verb. We have any doubt here? See, is playing the match. Okay, is playing is a verb structure. In the is playing is main verb. Playing play. So is is actually verb. Sorry, he is playing the match. Is playing verb structure. Is actually verb. Playing main verb main verb. Okay, playing main verb along with the. Actually, we will be is he is playing the match next time. So we can say easily that this is the main. Actually, we will be play is the main verb. Next, next is same. Actually, I have taken is he is the hero of the match. There is no uh, verb except the is. So he is he is here act as a main verb. Okay. So understand here the verb which act both as main verb. as well as auxiliary verb are called as non modal auxiliary or primary auxiliary verbs 
Okay, you just understand here. The first sentence, he is playing a match, is act as a actually verb or helping verb. But in the next second example that I have taken for you, he is the hero of the match. In this sentence, is act as main verb. Okay, in the same word is in the first example act as a actually verb, but in the second sentence. Acts as a main verb. So same is can play the both roles. It can either play uh, as main verb or actually verb. This is what non-modal actually or primary actually verb. Okay. So is the main verb which act as a main verb as well as actually verb. The verb which play the both roles. Main, uh, actually, or uh, unmain. So those words are called as non-modal actually verbs. Next to what? Modal actually verbs. Modal actually verbs. As um, already you know that uh, there are different kinds of different uh, kinds of modal actually verbs. Uh, for example, can to, shall to, will would, may might must, used to, would uh, uh, need not. Okay, these are all some of the non-modal actually verbs. Here you understand. She can sing. Here in this sentence, in this sentence, it complete, uh, it gives complete meaning, so you can call it as sentence. She can sing. Okay. Here main verb sing. S I N G sing. She can sing. If you write she can, what? There is nothing. There is no sense at all. Okay. So this can actually verb can play. Only as actually, this can cannot play as main verb. If a verb which would play only as main verb, main action, which can only play as actually verb, that verb is called as modal actionary verb. See, she can sing. She can sing. Sing is the main verb. Can actually verb. If you if you write C can, there is no meaning at all. So can the verb uh, actual verb can only play as actual verb. Those uh, verbs are called as modal actual verbs. Modal actual verbs cannot play as main verb. You understand this? Modal actual verbs cannot uh, play, cannot act as main verb. But non-modal actual verbs can play. Uh, it can play either uh, main verb or actionary verb, but non-modal modal actionary verbs only play as actionary verb. Placement of the verb next to the subject. Okay, here he is subjected next to this. So actually, he is playing the match. He is the hero of the match. Here we have only one verb, so usually we can say that this is main verb. He is playing the match. Play main verb uh, is actually verb. Actually, the placement of actually verb uh, next to the subject uh, he is playing the match. Here also, she can sing. Okay, sing main verb can also verb, but this is actually this is main verb. Where we place the can next to the subject C. So placement of the subject also placement of the uh, verb actually is also important. So modal actionary verbs can play only as Actually, verbs, but non-modal actually verbs can play the both roles. One, actually verbs as well as main verbs. Okay, this is what about actually verbs. Okay, the, the difference between uh, modal actually actually verb is very very important. If you take this example, this uh, will give you the uh, clear understanding about the primary actually, which means non-modal actually and actually uh, modal actually verbs. Okay. Next, we will move on to the finite and infinite. So now we are going to learn finite and the non-finite verbs. Um, here, uh, these finite verbs are so much, very much important uh, for the next uh, grammar. So let us understand what is finite verb and non-finite verb. A finite verb, the verb which can be changed into other tense. Okay, it's called a finite verb. If the verb cannot, if the verb but the verb cannot be changed, that is non-finite. Let us understand by having some example. 
we will be learning from it. Okay, uh, which, <coughs> which with on ED or T, which with on ED or T suffix. Okay, the verb which has the suffix ED or T in the past form or past participle form. Okay, if the verb has the suffix ED or T in the past form or past participle form are called as regular verbs. For example, abide, present form. Next, in the past form of the abide, abide, we have added ED with the main verb abide, present form abide, abide. So, we have added ED as suffix of the present form abide. So, this verb is regular, regular verb. Count, counted, counted, tempted, tempted, tempted. So, we have added ED as suffix of the present form. So, this is called as these are the these are the verbs are called as regular verbs. One more example we can add plain, plain, plain. So we have, we have added e as suffix of the verb. So uh, those verbs are called as regular verbs. Okay. In the past form or past participle form, we have we are adding uh, suffix e d or t. Those verbs are called as regular verbs. Irregular verbs just of course in our regular um, regular verbs. Except e d t other verb, other other than uh, ED and T, uh, remaining groups are called as regular groups. For example, build, built, built. We have not added ED or T. Again, first, first, first. Okay, not added ED. Drive, grow, driven, hit, 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 uh, forgive, forgive, forgiven. So, those, these are the verbs. Go, went, God. Yet, we have not added ED or T. Uh, if, you, if you add ED or T, in the present form of the verb, that is regular. Okay, okay. Abide is present form. In the past form, abide and abide. Okay. So we have added ed in the past form or past participle form, not present. Okay. Present form is okay. Abide, counter, tempted. In the past, when you want change that in the past, uh, you have to add ed or t. If you add ed or t, it gives the meaning that is. Regular verbs abide, abide, abide. Okay, abide, abide, abide. Count, count, count. Attempt, attempt, attempt. Play, play, play. So we have added ed. Those verbs are called as regular. Other than ed, t regular, irregular verbs. Example: build, build, build. Burst, burst, burst. Drive, go, driven, forgive, forgive, forgiven. Go, went, gone. Those are the verbs as irregular verbs. Casualty verbs are words that refer to the cause of an action. Uh, the word which refers to the cause of an action, they refer to the casual relationship between the subject and the object in the sentence. Okay? Subject and the object in the sentence. They refer the casual the casual words. Casual words refer to the casual relationship between the subject and the object in the sentence. Let's see how this functions. Uh, some of the casual words are allow, uh, cause, enable, force. Get, help, let, make. Okay, these are some of the casualty verbs. For example, Tina, let me ride her bicycle. Tina, let me ride her bicycle. So, Tina allowed me to ride her bicycle. This is one of the casualty verbs. Structure for this casualty verb is let someone verb. For example, let, let someone and verb. Verb is arrive. Okay. So Tina allowing to ride her bicycle. Tina let me ride her bicycle. So uh, this is a casualty verb. One more example. Jeet made me eat an entire cake. The structure made someone verb. Make a past is made it. me eat it. Make make someone eat it. So this is the structure for the casualty verbs. Make, make me eat. Okay. Next, this is maybe forcing. Okay, this is allowing. This is for Jeet forcing me to eat entire cake. Okay, so first one is allow. Second one is forcing. Third one, convincing. Okay, or tricking. Agree. Give God Ali to leave the room. Get plus someone Ali someone to leave infinitive to leave this infinitive. This is the 
structure for cash and dividends. Okay, clear. First one, less the sum one plus variable, make sum one variable, get sum one and plus infinity variables. Tina, let me write her bicycle. Okay, Tina, let me write her bicycle. So one causes the other action. One action uh, causes the for the other action. One action is the reason to happen another action. Did make each on entire cake. Did got Ali to leave the room. This is the casualty words. What is casualty words? Our words that refer to the cause of an action. Refer to the cause of action and it talks about the relationship between uh, a subject and the object of the sentence. Okay, this is what casualty words. Next we will be studying about linking words. Okay. Okay, next is linking words. Uh, linking words, words that do not point to an action but join the subject and the, the subject complement. Okay. Uh, this the blinking verb do not point the action, but it links the subject and the object. That is what linking verb. Here, B B form verbs are B form verbs. Look, appear, grow, see, sound, taste, turn. These are some of the linking verbs. Okay, linking verb which links the subject and the object, but it does not point the action. For example, Jenny looks tired. I have five items. Roshan, Roshni seems happy. Okay, so this uh, verb looks and seems. These are linking verb which links the subject and the object. So this uh, subject and the object are complement. So these verbs are called as linking verbs. Okay. So next one, verbs such as go, taste, smell, turn, can also be used as transitive verb. I told you before, be, look, appear, grow, sing, sound, taste, turn. In which, which is grow, taste, smell, turn can also be used as transitive verbs. How? For example, I tasted the food. I subjected, tasted. What? The food. So this is object. So this verb taste takes the object. So this verb uh, Transitive verb. This verb is called as transitive verb because this verb takes the object. What is the object? The food. Then. Okay. So it takes the object. Then. So this verb are also called as transitive verb. Verbs such as grow, taste, smell, turn can also be used as transitive verbs. This verb, these verbs can be used as transitive also. Okay. So this is called transitive verb. One more, uh, one more thing I which I want to tell you. Looks tired. I am a firefighter. Seems okay. Here, how do you find whether this is really linking verb or not? Jenny looks tired. Okay, Jenny looks tired. I know for example you can say this is linking verb because uh, uh, maybe most probably all uh, before words will be the linking verb. Okay, I am firefighter. Those means seems happy. Just in, instead of this verb, just to use any B form words, replacing the Verb. For example, what is B form? What are the B form verbs? Am, are, is, was, were. Okay. Here, Jenny looks tired. Instead of looks, use any B form verb. Jenny is tired. Jenny was tired. Ch uh, Jenny, uh, uh, Jenny is tired. Okay. So when you when you make like this, in, instead of the main verb, when you use if you replace by any B form verb. After changing this, if you give the meaning. That word is called as a linking word. So, Jenny is tired. So, this looks what? Linking word. Okay. Rosni seems happy. Rosni is happy. Okay. Okay. So, these are the words are called as linking words. Here, I tested the food. I am the food. Ram. Okay. So, this is not a linking word. But it is wonderful. It is wonderful. So, it is linking word. So, this is the technique which can use to find out the linking verb. So now uh, we, we are just concluding the part verb. So in this class uh, what are things which we discussed? First one, verbs, uh, verbs uh, main verbs can be classified into what is transitive, or known as intransitive, transitive furtherly classified uh, monotransitive, ditransitive verb. Next the axillary verbs, axillary verbs also can be classified into two. One is modal axillary, non-modal axillary. You can understand the difference between modal and non-modal axillary. Next one, finite verb, uh, non-finite uh, non verbs, then um, casualty verbs, linking verbs, 
irregular regular, 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 reg